If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. So first, uh, let us go through the disclaimer what we have to follow. So this presentation, uh, including examples, images and references are provided for informational purpose only. Complying with all applicable copyrights laws is the responsibility of the user. Without uh, limiting the rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored or introduced into a retrieval system or transmitted in any form or by any means. Credit shall be given to the image, images taken from the open source and cannot be used for promotional activities. So this is the disclaimer. Then moving to our agenda today. So uh, we would be covering describe uh, like uh, S4 HANA uh, and describing the SAP Fury. So let me just quickly go to the course content. Uh, yes, just a quick question. Do we start also as an introduction about cash management today or not? Module two. Yes, yes, yes. So basically, like uh, we would follow this uh, uh, content the way it is maintained here. So same way we, we would be covering our course. So basically, like mm -hmm. overview of financial and Esporana. So in the cash management, we will start with uh, bank account management first. Then we will cover bank communication management because these two are dependent topics. So before mm -hmm. we move to the cash management topic, we would first cover the BAM, uh, bank account management and uh, BCM, bank communication management. Okay. Okay. So BCM Is that fine for you? Yes, yes, of course. B, uh, uh, BCM will just uh, check uh, quickly, isn't it? Because, uh, or we will check uh, all details about BCM. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, we will uh, cover this bank account management in details. Then we will move to this topic cash operations and uh, liquidity, uh, pooling of cash. So, all these topics we will be covering at the end. So, you, this is the prerequisite. If I just directly jump to this topic, so it would be yeah, difficult yeah. for you even I, to. Mm -hmm. I understand completely. My question it was uh, about this um, bank communication management. Uh, do we will mm -hmm. cover everything about uh, bank, bank communication management, or we will just discuss between uh, the link between uh, BAM bank account management and BCM bank communication management? Uh, what we will see uh, exactly? Uh, basically, uh, setting. Sorry. Yeah, basic settings for BCM and how does it go for the approval process? Uh, grouping. How we can do the grouping of uh, uh, payment documents? Like if you, we have processed through F110, so how we can? What are the prerequisite criteria we need to set up mm -hmm. to group the into the batches and how the batches will be approved. What is in the uh, basic version, uh, BCM functionality available? What is there? We can just uh, see the difference, uh, overview kind of, like uh, what was what is there with the basic version and what is there with the full scope version. Okay. So that part uh, we would be covering in the under BCM. Then manual bank okay. statement. Uh, not really sure if electronic bank statement will be really possible, but yes, we would see how can we do the uh, bank statement monitoring through uh, cash management. Yeah. So, my statement is my... interesting to see it quickly, but uh, usually in uh, in uh, reality, we use more electronic bank statement than the manual bank statement. But yeah, just uh, we can uh, we can see it. Uh, yes. It's... Mm. Definitely, we can uh, do the configuration, complete configuration of electronic bank statement. But uh, I'll check if it is possible or uh, whether we have any difficulty doing this one. And it, obviously, like uh, bank in the BM and BCM, we have the approval process in place. So we won't be able to see the approval, but we can see the like uh, how does it how the system triggers for the workflow uh, and approvals. 
we can see uh, in the app how do we uh, see what is there in in the sent request what is there in my inbox so whatever has been sent for the approval to a particular user id they can view in their inbox okay so those okay. things we would uh, we can see here mm -hmm. perfect okay. it was and very I, interesting for me to see a uh, fury apps uh, because today i don't know uh, many of them so uh, yeah it's interesting yes 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 so we will see and uh, i'm not seeing much of the this related app and other apps they need to have the they, yes they need to add the rules um, specific rules uh, to mm -hmm. the catalog so maybe the user yes, that you sure. have it's not uh, yes yes it is specific to uh, cash management so anyway we will focus on this cash management part so, like other reports are not available so not to worry we would say like how can we uh, create the house bank and how can we uh, trigger the workflow for a house bank so those parts we would see okay okay so yeah uh, so okay so you will not have access to okay 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 we will see whatever we will be having access to we will definitely look into it and other things uh, as per the course content defined so we have to stick to the course content so that's the only submission from my side but if you have any thing to add so you can just uh, uh, okay comment. thank you okay Sign. perfect okay <clears throat> so let us uh, quickly move to the first uh, presentation so mm -hmm. I, I guess you you are already aware about s for hana and ecc differences so let me brief you through the system <laughs> excuse me sorry So first, most important uh, use case or beauty of S4 HANA system is it's in in-memory database system. So in-memory database system, what does it mean basically? Like uh, your data will reside in RAM memory, temporary memory. So you get the uh, data faster compared to, eight times faster compared to, what you were able to extract in the ECC system. So first basic uh, benefit we have in S4 HANA system, uh, like replacing the traditional database with the S4 HANA. So this is the most important change we can we could observe in S4 HANA system. Second, uh, like uh, in finance side, so the introduction of this table, AC DOCA. So, it's a single source of truth. What does that mean basically? So this contains the data from multiple different tables. So it contains the asset related data. It contains the, uh, let me show you better in SC11. <clears throat> Controlling related data and it has, uh, sub ledgers related data asset data asset related data uh, transaction data is also available in this table so uh, it's a single source of truth let me show you in somewhere i might have captured in the system the screen sort yes normally we have a file co ml material ledger we have uh, asset accounting uh, so we have uh, i think we have five components on asidoka and uh, yeah, it's a simplification uh, right, right. of the architecture. Right, right, right. So this is the architecture of data, HANA database. 
So this is your temporary memory. So once you uh, request something from uh, GUI, so that fetches the data from this memory. So that does not go to the persistent memory. So we have the con concept of persistent database. So from temporary memory, it goes to the per persistent memory. That is your uh, permanent memory. So it, that's why even if you just go for the installation of HANA database, so it requires a lot of RAM in your system. So that is the main benefit we have uh, in uh, HANA database. So it has three components like data, log, and uh, save point. So this is basically more of basis concept, but just for your idea, this is how it makes the system faster compared to the uh, traditional database. And second thing is it has to uh, uh, approach to save the data. One is columnar approach and second is the row approach. So columnar approach is basically used uh, like uh, when you go for the analytical uh, system. So in BW or SSC, so that basically stores the data in columnar ways. But other like BSEG and BKPF, all those save as a uh, as a in the row, row uh, approach itself, the way traditional database was used to save the data. Okay, so this is the main advantage introdu introducing this uh, uh, table. And uh, second is the approach they have come up with this UX design. So they have introduced Fury uh, from the HANA database evolution itself. So you can see like you can could now able to access your Fury app through web browser also. So the way we used to operate from GUI, you can uh, you can also operate from this uh, Fury app. So we have Fury app available for posting the journal entry. We have the Fury app available to post the vendor invoice. We have the Fury app available for workflow approval. Uh, to monitor the reports. So all kind of uh, uh, Fury app available now in S4HANA. Now they have uh, designed the same approach uh, uh, in ECC also, but this Fury app introduction, UX design app uh, come up after the S4HANA introduction. So this is the major second advantage in S4HANA. Third, most important in terms of FI, if you just stick to the FI side, so they have come up with the concept of business partner like, uh, to <clears throat> avoid the redundancy of data. So rather they first create the business partner and they extend to the different, different roles. So hope uh, as you might be already aware about it, but just uh, to focus on what is uh, the good thing and uh, new features available in s so this is also one of the feature available in Esperana. Like, and if you wanted to use this uh, business partner for SAP finance role, so you can extend to the role FLVN00. So you don't require to create, suppose same uh, organization is uh, vendor and uh, customer or supplier and uh, we are selling out the goods to the same person. So in that case, we can create a business partner and we can extend the same business partner to two different roles. One is supplier and other one is like customer. So this is how uh, we create the business partner and uh, vendor and customer in S4HANA. So in terms of master data, this is the one new features we have in S4HANA. So business partner concept was already available uh, in the treasury module and other modules. But uh, in ECC system, uh, it, previously we were not having this concept for uh, normal vendors and customers. Second, in terms of GL master data, so we have like, uh, as you can see, they have introduced like this GL account type. So generally we were having two type of GL account type, balance sheet and PNL account. Now they have introduced non-operating expense, primary cost and revenue, secondary cost and cash account. So this primary and secondary cost is basically nothing but the cost element part, which we used to extend as a cost element. 
So for that, now controlling master data has also become part of FI general ledger master data. So this is the another changes we can observe in S4 HANA system in terms of general master data creation and cost element creation. And we have a single transaction FS00 for the creation of GL master data. Now in the latest version, they have introduced this new cash account, uh, uh, GL account type code to deal in with the uh, cash account. So cash related transactions. So we will see in our upcoming session. Let me just go back to, and apart from that, uh, uh, we will see like uh, the creation of uh, this bank account data. So how do we create the bank account data in Esplanada system? So we can see like earlier, we used to use transaction FI-12 and FI-01 for bank key. And through FI-12, we were able to create the house bank and linking with the account ID. But in S4 HANA, you cannot, uh, it will, even if you try to link house bank and account ID, so it will take you to the same Fury app, okay? So Fury app, and there you, you have this app, manage banks, so from here you can create the Banky and house bank, but linking the house bank with the account ID, you need required to have this app manage bank accounts. So we will see today like how we can create the manage banks and manage bank accounts. So these are the new things yeah. changes we can observe in Espo Hana. Yeah, saying something. Yeah, I want just to see, uh, say that um, uh, the most important thing is that uh, before. Uh, bank account it was uh, a configuration and today it's a master data but the house uh, house bank uh, it's still a configuration that we need to release uh, from uh, uh, development to production correct correct. <clears throat> correct correct right right but what is so, interesting also that uh, when we will uh, uh, see a, a bank account id uh, what is interesting that um, uh, I want to see with you is how can we upload uh, uh, because it's master data and sometimes we have them in production, but in test system, we don't create uh, systematically always uh, uh, this uh, master data. So how can we upload them from production to uh, test system? So yeah, here in the theory app, in the Fury app. So I will tell you like uh, this configuration, FI12 configuration. Let me show you FI12 configuration. So I just created a while ago this company code. It's not completely set up, but so like this, this part you would be able to configure in uh, creating uh, through this FI12 transaction, but this part, mm. you have only the view access here. So this yes. I have created to this, this app, okay? Yeah. So, so this, doing this configuration, you can ex download XML spreadsheet template. Okay, so let me download it so that you get the clarity of it. Yeah, so we can download in mass. We can download all the account that we have for example, in production and uh, upload them in uh, test system, isn't it? Yes, yes. So, so yes, yes. So this is the template, and here you have the option to upload. It's not working because you don't have any account. Maybe you should have an account. No, no, no. This should. This could not be the reason, probably. There will be some other reason. Select one or more entries before you can me. Okay. Let me first download. Okay. Open XML handler or where is maybe with, maybe with Microsoft Edge. The internet, you can open that. Let, yeah, yeah. Let, let us open. 
let us open in browser. So, <clears throat> mm -hmm. no, no, this is not the correct format. This is a, just a template, or it's uh, yeah. what we have it. Yes. Yes, yes. So basically, here you can see. Let me open it in Excel sheet. Uh, let me check the download is XML here. So you need to, there is migration tool available, LTMC, and uh, all those things. So, but here you can use the template and you need to put the data in that particular format. No, this download is not visible here. Yeah, so in this case, if I want to uh, make a mass creation, I can add the details in the template. But if I want just to copy what I have in the system to another system, I don't want to use the template. I want to download what I have in the system. Yes, so there is a way you can uh, take the dump out from that system. So export, you need to select that one and export it to the different or file for import validation. So you can just first uh, import it. So you, we were having the import option also available. Okay, so here, I guess this is the export to spreadsheet. Sorry, let us export. So once you will select it, you can, so this is the template, one second, huh? Let me show you first template. That option is available. I, sorry, I uh, understood your question now. So that option is also available. But here like, in this case, we want uh, that you show me we, we can uh, fill to uh, to make a mass creation. But uh, my my point it was only to copy from. I, I, I got your question. You are one. saying if we yes yes we already have created in uh, the lower system like sandbox or development system we wanted to uh, import the same data into the production, correct? Uh, to be uh, to be frank, I want to do the. The, the the inverse um, uh, we because uh, uh, bank account management are cre uh, created in production by uh, by a treasury team and i want uh, for our tests and configuration to upload them from production to to dev and test system we will you see are this, saying uh, production we will, means which yeah, product this, because normally, if um, normally business have access to create bank account ID in production directly, and uh, uh, sometimes the bank that we create in production, we don't create them uh, systematically in a dev system. So I want to import the accounts that I have in production and copy them into dev and test system. In any case, it's just okay, to copy okay, so from one system to another system. It's a, just the option to copy from one system to another one. Yes, yes. So there is an option available. You can create the TR. You can uh, like, uh, uh, you need to, I really not have checked this option, but that option is available. So you can take help of migration team who can actually help you in that. But if you don't have your migration team, you can just raise the SAP incident. They will, there is an option available. I have not really uh, done th this part, but that option is available. Okay, uh, just if okay. I can, um, if I can just uh, repeat my question differently. The point, uh, mm -hmm. if, if you have uh, two or three accounts in this, uh, in, this, uh, in, the, in this Fury app, and I need uh -huh. to export them. So to export them, I need to export in XML, isn't it? So if I go to the other system, can I have the option to import them also? Can I have an option to import in this Fury app? Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. We do have option to import in Fury app. We do have the option. So download XML spreadsheet. Uh, one second. Why this is not in showing that? In any case, we can yeah. see. It. Yeah. Ah, okay. See, so we have you can select the file. Okay, so okay, I can, can export and import. Okay, perfect. This is what oh, it yeah. was my question. Because I don't okay. need any transport request. Transport request it will be used only for a house uh, house bank, but not for a house bank account ID. The house bank yes, will yes. be used okay. transport bank. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You require the transport request basically to complete this FPJP mapping. So like uh, you need to do this mapping also, bank determination. So Yes. Here, once that configuration is completed. So here, uh, like, uh, I, I have not set up this. Yet. Yeah, yeah. So here, you can just uh, do this mapping. So the sub bank account, clearing account will come in picture here. So this mapping is only required to be uh, imported through transport request. But other things like master data, you can have this option here to export and import. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, coming back to our topic, uh, one second, let me just open this module one overview. So, Optimize cache, powerful multiple processor. This makes the HANA system faster. This affordable memory. So this, uh, you know, um, key features of HANA makes it faster and uh, more usable. So multi-core processor enable parallelism of task, large memory, advances in design of onboard cache. So onboard cache means basically what you generally use that resides in your cache memory. So that's uh, make it faster for if you uh, query something through APL 1 and report, APL 5 and report, any report. So you get the data eight times faster compares to S4 ECC system. So transactional, and now we have the benefit of OLTP and OLAP means you can do the analysis also on the runtime. Okay. Three copies of data in different data models, inherent data latency, poor in innovation leading to wastage. So this was the problem with the previous version. So now less hardware to manage, accelerate through innovation simplification plus in-memory database concept. Now, moving to the remove complexity with SAP S4 HANA. This is talking about evolution. So 1979, they come up with R2 architecture. Then 1992, they come up with R3 architecture, means application layer, presentation layer, and database layer, three layer were there in, in this 1992. In R2 architecture, there was only two layer, like uh, presentation layer and uh, database layer. So in the ERP, then they introduced the concept of ERP. Then in 2015, they come up with S4 HANA, uh, S4 HANA uh, database. So it means they replaced the, removed the underlying database, which was, I guess, earlier Oracle. But now, which was the traditional database, now they have introduced S4 HANA database. So S4 HANA core and line of business solutions. So these are the solutions available, SAP S4 HANA finance. SAP, they called it initially S4 simple finance, but later on they started saying S4 HANA finance. So like uh, asset management, HANA supply chain management. So these are the core line of business in S4 HANA. Ariba, and uh, IVP, so many other uh, uh, tools are available in S4HANA. This is evolution of S4HANA finance. 
they are talking about going down to the next step finance and risk can i enlarge the size one second sure functional completeness of solution so financial accounting entity close corporate close financial reporting direct tax management so head corporate reporting these are the benefits we have in uh, in finance side record to report so finance process governance financial shared services management so in short you can see like they have introduced the concept of group reporting where you can do the consolidation okay it simplify and even uh, minimize your time required to do the closing activities like you, you, we used to do a lot of reconciliation earlier right but now with the introduction of ac roca concept so the reconciliation steps has got reduced now so that ha that basically has simplifies your uh, reporting and uh, closing activities right treasury management so what are the benefits we have in treasury management so like cash and liquidity management so in the bank account management and bank communication management here they have introduced the concept of workflow means if you have created the bank and you wanted to validate before uh, making it uh, kind of active so here you can see right one second let me just go back uh, manage bank account so i don't know whether you have noticed or not not so here you have the option to make it download xml schema file for import validation you some if you someone one person has uploaded the data so second can uh, import and validate the data if all correct or not right so these are the additional feature or features we have available in and even even today also they are evolving and uh, new features every releasing every year are new features right like even yes. before 2019 onwards we were not having the concept of workflow in bam right bank yeah. account management but they have come up with the concept of dual control or workflow control so one person cash manager can able to create the bank master data but the manager would be able to approve then only it will be active right yeah. or if you wanted yeah. to disable this fun functionality i'll show you in the system where we can uh, control it okay Perfect. so normally uh, for bam we can have direct active activation or we can have dual control so two uh, two person should uh, and a second person to validate it or we can have our workflow and in this case workflow we have standards one and we can also create specific one isn't it yes 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 so if you just go to the spro gas and liquidity management that's why i'm i'm starting with bam topic other like s4 hana i i'm really sure like you might be having much better idea what i'm discussing here so but this is just a quick introduction session so that's why i'm covering this stuff so bank account management basic settings general settings here if you just uh, open the note you can see the full scope and uh, basic scope so that is mean like uh, in basic scope uh, you cannot have this dual control and workflow uh, option available. If you just try to save it, I guess it should throw error. So it's allowing me. Yes, exactly. But ideally, if we, if, we, if we use the simple uh, scope, normally we should not have dual or, or workflow. Yeah. Correct, so correct, correct. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in, in this, you finance. can see. Sorry, mm -hmm. I cut you. Just in simple finance, I don't have this. Uh, option but i have uh, the workflow um, uh, but i don't have this setting in simple finance 
Okay, okay, okay. So you are saying in your version, this is not available, right? Yeah, it's not available, but workflow is available. I can add workflow, but I don't have the option to choose if I want to uh, have a dual control or a, or a workflow. I don't have this option. So I don't have this uh, this general sitting uh, uh, in my site. Okay, 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 okay. So basically this basic version means you don't require the separate licensing for uh, BAM. But if you are going for the full scope, so what I know like this will uh, lead to uh, some additional cost to get the uh, a separate license for BAM or say cash account management. Okay, so in full scope, like you can uh, activate the, like someone has created the bank account. So it will be directly active. But uh, on the other way, like if you wanted to have the dual control, so you can uh, do these settings active, activate via dual control. So one person will, would be able to create as a, create it and so the next person would be able to approve it. And even second person uh, can delegate the request to some other person also. So if you just look at the app, so he, the person who had received this request will check uh, their inbox, okay? So inbox, like suppose I'm the approver for the bank uh, getting created in my organization. So I can approve directly, I can reject it, I can, uh, uh, delegate to some other person also. That is also possible. But you would be able to delegate only if the configuration, like the whole setup is done in here. Okay. So in the next step, we will see like how do we create the rule uh, for the, uh, the to trigger the workflow and to uh, have the this uh, like you would be able to forward to those person who is actually configured in the system. Okay, so I will show you in the upcoming steps and uh, probably in tomorrow's session, like how we do that. Okay, but I'm not really sure whether it will, it will because we don't have only single ID we have. So we cannot check uh, yes. if we are delegating to someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to have two, <laughs> two, two users to be able to test it. So yeah. And even uh, there are some objects and function module. So if you can follow the standard settings, but if it is not triggering, so you require some uh, help from even from the technical side as well to, uh, you know, analyze, analysis of the, technical issues related to workflow and all. But yes, even we can, what we can see, like we have created some bank account and that is not active and it's not allowing me to activate it. So that part we can definitely able to check in the system, okay? So here in the basic settings, what are the controls we have available? Request grouping, how if suppose you have created uh, multiple house banks, so, how do you want it to group it for approval? So at company code level, at account type level, or at a company code account type level, or group into a single change request. So this, these are the grouping options available, okay? So if you have created multiple uh, bank accounts, so what does that mean account type? I'll show you like uh, uh, it's a operational account or uh, it's a functional account. So that I'll show you uh, in the next uh, node, we have this configuration available. Apart from this, this controls, like if you wanted to directly activate it, if you wanted to activate through dual control or through workflow. So these are the three options available in terms of activation of the house bank. Then enable snapshot. This is basically related to uh, if you wanted uh, if you wanted uh, to see the cash flow of, uh, say, uh, what was the cash position 10 days back. So in that case, we require to enable this, enable snapshot feature. But I have never seen uh, enabling this feature uh, in my scenario, my cases. But we can explore this part. So, but 
this is for that purpose related to cash management okay cash request integration so cash request we do the cash so, request so in that yeah so it's our what uh, snapshots is um it's uh, uh, an external app or a fury app or it's in uh, in uh, <coughs> no it's in uh, uh, yeah <coughs> Suppose you have a house bank, okay? So today you know, and you can forecast for tomorrow based on yes. purchase order, based on different, different uh, data available in your system, okay? So mm -hmm. how, if I ask you, what was your cash position 10 days back? So you need to enable this functionality. Your cash position one month back. Uh, so you need to okay. enable this functionality. This functionality is for cash flow, but uh, did I see it in uh, in Fury or in um, Fury, uh, Fury. Sub Okay, 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 okay. In because Fury I we have now... to... okay, okay, okay. Fine. So uh, let me just check uh, where is the cash analyzer. In any case, if we will see it later, no, no issue. We can uh, go ahead and uh, check it out when we will. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. cash position today. So you are able to see the cash position today. But what was okay. the cash position 10 days back, some time back? So in order to uh, have that visibility, we require to enable that. Uh, uh, you okay. need to tick that checkbox. Okay. If I don't tick it, I cannot see the cash position. Isn't no, it? No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Perfect. Cash position means. Cash position means your previous data. Latest data you would be able to see when you don't take this checkbox. Okay, let me just close this one. If you just read out this help. Uh, so let me just expand this one. So activation yeah. modes of bank account. Mm -hmm. We have uh, about this. We have um, also a, a notion that we uh, SAP call one exposure from operation. One exposure. I think for cash management now we have just one one table. Also simplification uh, architecture. Correct. Correct. You were mentioning cash management. One... Yes. 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 So you can just see here. This setting is not relevant for the basic cash management capability. After you switch off this function, make sure that you can clean up all the historical data. For information, enable snapshot. So okay. for this is used for historical data. Okay, with okay. this field, you can enable the snapshot function in the full scope of cash management. Flows are then segmented by the time when flows are built in one exposure from operations. You can. Then take a snapshot of the cash of flows with a different time and different versions. For example, you can use the snapshot to trace cash position reports for the last month. So by one exposure, uh, do we mean we have one uh, data in a specific table, isn't it? Well, the table which you were mentioning now, that is used basically to push the data from ECC to uh, Fury app. Okay. You you mentioned one table in the last meeting. Did you remember? Yes, yes, of course. I mentioned one table because it's linked to one exposure normally. Uh, and uh, this table is FQM flow. Uh, FQM underscore uh, flow. Yeah. Yes, so that table basically uh, is kept, uh, contains the data in this uh, GUI system. But if you wanted to have the visibility in Fury app, you require to push the data from that table to Fury app. Okay, okay I'll show so you. it's clear. It's very clear, thank okay. you. Yeah, yeah. So this snapshot is basically to have the visibility of your historical data. So, but in general, we don't require it, okay? After you have enabled this function, function, you cannot deactivate it when transaction data is stored as historical data. After you have deactivated it, 
be sure to clean up all historical data using the delete functionality. If you once you have activated it, so you cannot deactivate it. So if you wanted to deactivate this function, then you require to clean up all your historical data using this app. Got it? Is that clear or uh, did? Uh, yes, yes, it's very I... clear for me. Thank, uh, thank you for the ah, Okay, okay, okay. So now activation mode, we have discussed, uh, we, we have clearly understood this point. So now coming down, enable cache trade request integration. This setting is not relevant for basic cache management capability. After you switch off this function, make sure that you can clean up all the historical data. De define whether you want to enable the bank account contact types in bank account master data. So this is related to, I have uh, not uh, really explored this feature because this is recently added in, uh, in a 2021 version, okay? But before that, it was not uh, there. This enable uh, bank account as a contract type. So uh, we need to explore this part, but up to this part, uh, we have used the functionality. Okay. So here you can see, once you create the master data, then it generates one number range. So you can see this number range is being maintained here. Every bank account will have this uh, ID, 120. So let me open. Manage banks, manage banks basic. So here. Where is the. Uh, uh, we are not able to see the bank account. Maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, Once I enter the company code and we click on go, so it will show you all the data. Uh, because uh, I saw that is empty, uh, so for me it was strange. No, no, okay. once you will, uh, so you need to put the filter. So that's why I was just trying to enter some filter here. So let me just check uh, uh, my house bank so that we can at least view one master data. Let us open this one. This is not properly created. So actually system creates two ID, technical ID you can see, okay? One is yes. to uh, identify, this is the unique number. Uh, even we saw in the download also, Excel, uh, Excel sheet download, there was what one field which is called technical field. So if you wanted to create the master data with upload functionality, so in that case, you require to provide the number range, technical ID number range in sequence, okay? And same thing should be maintained here. Okay, so probably okay. this is, and this is related to change request. I Means suppose you have done some changes in the uh, bank account. So that will trigger the workflow and that will be tracked through this change request number, okay? But uh, the other one, like technical ID, so that number is uh, is is basically picked up from here. Okay. So now, if you wanted to upload, so you will have to assign the number range from five eighty nine, the subsequent available number range. Okay. Let me just show you the download if it is available in the download. One second. Yeah, so if you just double click here now, you can just notice one thing here, this technical ID, okay? So here like you require to provide for each of the bank data, a technical ID number. Make sense? Yeah, it should be internal ID, not external ID. You need to the take it's... external in that sense. Okay, so it can be also external if you want. Okay, 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 clear. 
So yeah, in this case, if it's internal, we should not uh, uh, put it because the system will uh, do it by them uh, by uh, itself. Uh, Uh, sorry, uh, come again. Uh, when when it's internal, we don't need to um, we don't need to mm -hmm. fill the the technical number because the system will correct. do it uh, automatically. Correct, correct, correct. Yes, yes. So assign number range. You can do the assignment here. Okay. So. Define uh, settings for bank account master data. So this is the main important settings that triggers the workflow. So these are the type of account types we have. So these are very much standard. So account type 01, current account, then deposit account, loan account. So deposit and loan account basically kind of uh, functional account. So. Uh, let me just go to the sensitive fields modification. So this, whatever field for if you are making any changes in the in that field, so that will trigger workflow. So if you, you do not want to trigger the workflow, then you can act inactive, make it inactive. So bank account number. So this is a very sensitive field. So you someone cannot go and change the bank account number of a house bank, right? So that that will be a that will be a sensitive field. Clear? Yes, it's clear, clear for, for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a question: Do we will? Um, uh, uh, so now we are starting with the bank account management, or we will finish the introduction before we go in details? Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just introduction, we will. Yes, 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 yes. So we will uh, just uh, give an uh, overview of uh, bank account management. How does yes, it work? Okay. Mm -mm. It's uh, very interesting, and thank you for all this. Yes. Yeah, uh, welcome, welcome, always welcome. So, so after the overview, we will start with the BAM, not with the uh, memo record or uh, EBS, isn't it? Uh, actually, we need to set up the house bank first, then only you can do the EBS and all. Huh? Yes, Correct. exactly. So. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So that's why I'm starting with the uh, first creation of house bank. Maybe what we can do, we can set up a basic uh, house bank and uh, without approval and workflow. Uh, and then we can go for the EBS setting up and uh, probably then we can configure the BCM part. In Does any case, uh, yeah, yeah. In any case, as you want, uh, we can start with the BAM directly or just with basic seating uh, uh, as you want. At the end, we will do everything. It's what, it's, it's what uh, is important. But uh, as you, as you as you want uh, for me both is uh, is good okay great great okay thank you so much so in the fury so the you can see like it's uh, role based so you can control uh, even we can notice here so you know very well uh, whatever role is assigned to your id those fury app access you can only have so this is role based uh, application then it's responsive responsive means if you open it in in uh, your mobile phone so it will get adjusted accordingly it's uh, it, it will fit into your window it is simple simple to use so we don't require to remember the transaction code now so you can just search by bank it will give you the all available options so bank is statement you don't require to remember the T code, right? In SAP, we need to remember the T code, but here we can just uh, uh, search by bank statement or any relevant uh, name you can search by, and it it will show you the available apps in this system, right? So 
min bank, something like that. Cash analyzer, so you can just search here. Cash flow analyzer, so all cash related application will show you. So these are basically called tiles. So tiles is nothing but one application. Then we have coherency apps that speak the same language. Then instant value, uh, you get the values instantly moving to transactional. So three types of Fury apps are available, transactional, fact sheet, and analytical. So as we saw, uh, like uh, transactional. So if you have this APL one and three and kind of reports available in Fury app, then we have analytical app. So which will show you kind of uh, chart reporting in the chart format. So maybe in pie chart or some other chart. And we have the fact sheets, uh, uh, Fury apps are also available. Then Fury Launchpad. So this is role-based and person-centric person and multiple platforms, multiple devices. So you can adjust in any device, search collaboration and feeds, stable URLs for bookmarking and sharing, uh, theming and branding personalization. So you can do the necessary settings if you wanted to modify your app. So you can just go to settings, appearance, you can adjust, okay? So look and feel also you can change. So all content, so one group at a time. So like that also you can change. User profile setting, clear my history or something like that you wanted to uh, modify. If you wanted to view in a different language so that also option is available. Okay, so default values. notification, all these settings you can change from here. And if you just wanted, just home page apps. So you can see what are the apps available under this uh, bank account application, bank relationship. So these apps are available. You can just add some apps in this group. And if you wanted to remove something, you can just remove it. So those options are also available. It's very user-friendly in short, you can see, because of introduction of Fury app, it has simplified the people life of searching and finding the relevant transaction codes to perform their daily activities. SAP Fury Launchpad user personalization. So as we were talking about user personalization, so if you wanted to, change the settings you can do frequently app finder settings edit home page you can do the home page edit add group so you can just add some other application apps here in bank account application group in bank relationship if you wanted to add something or remove from here so you can do that if you wanted to create another group you can just create your group <clears throat> any questions so far uh, no it's clear it's interesting so uh, yeah uh, very interesting because i not used to uh, to use uh, fury but yeah it's clear it's clear right now okay 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 thanks so this is how you can do the changes by home. You can navigate to the respective.
so as you use it uh, the apps so you will get better idea okay so you can see if i'm clicking on this so i can view all the apps available in, under this group i just click on this one so all the apps are available under this group i can see directly this is uh, under this group so cash operations so all cash operations related bank statement monitoring cash position today so you can see this is kind of analytical app you can change the layout also like here you have the option by bank country by bank and just change the view so if you wanted to make it by company so this is also possible there must be some somewhere the option should be available to view uh, as per currency or something like that one second let me just quickly check mm. can i see that you can export to a spreadsheet you can enlarge the size so it will look like this minimize the size this is bar chart column chart you can just change the chart a pie chart you can convert into the pie chart okay you how do you want it to view it so you can buy currency so that option is also available so buy currency if you wanted to view in the chart format so that is also bullet chart uh heat map chart vertical bullet chart so you can change the view <clears throat> okay so this much transaction has been happened uh, in usd euro only this much in INR this much value so i mean you can just uh, use it as you wanted to view in your face so if you wanted to go to the your home page so just click on this one navigate to home page so it will take you to the home page okay so these are the some benefits and key features of s for hana fury application personalized options and fury sap fury launchpad then this is all about uh, s4 hana okay i have some additional slide apart from this in so like uh, is it uh, possible to share with me um, the first slide uh, introduction about the introduction the other one this one uh the first one you mean uh, yeah is it possible to have it or it's already in the in the forum in the forum it will be probably maybe you can take the snap of it so you want the complete slide is it possible i don't this is think, my question uh, this is my no, question I, I guess this will not be possible but anyway okay. i will cross check but you can confirm so you want this complete slide right yeah if but it's possible I, if you can share it directly in the forum in the zaran tech forum if it's possible if it's not possible so no problem no no this slide is already available on this website okay in oh, okay okay in uh, in materials in materials yes 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 in materials okay so if it's the case okay okay i didn't see yet uh, the materials okay they are already there okay perfect so uh, i will um, review them uh, if i need yeah yeah 
So let me just brief you about this is discussion board. So as you are mentioning, if you have any question, new post, so you can add your post and uh, you will get the answers. Okay. okay. And, so and also, just, also, if you have uh, some other documents from your side, you can put them uh, here and uh, I can uh, display them or check them. Yeah, obviously, like if something will be important related to cash management, so I will definitely add. But if do you really think this is going to be helpful because this is more of technical? No, no, so no you can not see documentation. If you have uh, other documents about cash flow that can help me, uh, any other documents from SAP or anything, uh, uh, something, for yes, example, yes. that contain all a configuration or all transaction or all uh, fury app or anything that is uh, useful uh, for uh, sure, sure. Uh, if i get it something so definitely i'll share with you and anyway whatever we'll be preparing during the session so that uh, uh, if i get some time so i will share prepare and share and otherwise i will share maybe later okay 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 thank you yeah so like in s4 hana these are the key features if you just go into the more technicality of it so like combined columnar and row stories available minimal projections any uh, attribute as index so indexing has got removed now like psik bs ak those tables are now just uh, exist as a views so hope you might be already aware about it but just for your information multi core and parallelization, partitioning. So like if, uh, if the data volume is high, so you can do the partitioning. Okay, so this, this is more of technical stuff. So I don't think this will be much helpful for you. And in, in short, like HANA key capabilities, what are the capabilities HANA is having? In-memory database, hybrid database row, hybrid database row and columnar store tables. Data aging, data temperature, hot, warm, cold data. So there are three types of data. Uh, hot means which we use very uh, frequently. Cold data means suppose 15 years old data that we don't use uh, frequently. So that is stored in your old database. Okay. So data provisioning tools are available. Accelerator, PW accelerator. Uh, as an appliance, TDCI approach, deployment, on-premise and cloud and hybrid. So these deployments are available. You can have the HANA database on-premise, you can have on cloud and you, even you can go for hybrid data model. Okay, premises, persistence. So disk storage, what are the options available? Uh, platform like database plus applications. Uh, then MDC, multi-tenancy, multi-tenancy like uh, you have uh, in the cloud concept, you have this multi-tenancy concept. So you can have data storage in US, other in Can Canada, other uh, next in uh, other place. So this, you can have the multi-tenancy uh, options available. Or like uh, uh, if you are aware about the cloud concept, so there it is useful. Like uh, some, uh, data you are sharing, not data, like database. So data is stores in your database. So that there you can share your data, which is not, you think not so critical or confidential. So th those data you can. Then as for an OLTAP system, OLAP and OLTP, online uh, data and online transaction. So real time OLAP and OLTP you can do multi cpu multi core architecture so this this is more of a, a more technical part of it and so definitely i will be sharing with you and like we have these two options available so these are the two operating system used in for the installation of hana database one is suse linux enterprise edition and other is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay, so these two uh, operating system we can use for the installation of HANA database. So, 
let me take you through the assessment part. So you can just go through this assessment, uh, which of the following personalization options are available to users in SAP Fury Launchpad. So adding applicants, so you can just go through the assessment part that will be useful for you for uh, uh, appearing for the uh, certification exam. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Have, have, a, nice, uh, have a nice evening. <laughs> Same bye day, bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Take care. Take care also. Thanks. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.